Hey, the strangers. It's time for another 2 p.m. PST Twitch stream. I'm your host, Strange for Jim. Today, we're going to be getting back into Mass Effect 1. Now, I got quite a little bit of difficulty yesterday with um, with uh, you know one of, at least one of the missions uh, kind of went to it a little early based off of my previous experience. Um, so it's probably one of the reasons why I was probably fighting some enemies that were higher level than me. Um, but, you know, I was able to finish it off nonetheless. Uh, to be honest, they really should have, like, held off allowing me to kind of enter that building until the quest was given to me. I mean, they were able to lock, you know, certain buildings down uh, already, so I know that they can do it. They just didn't. So, it's just a little odd. But, I mean, what can one do, right? Um... You know, they they probably weren't thinking that you know one person would uh, go exploring throughout the entire galaxy before moving on to the storyline. I mean, uh, what came out first? Was it Skyrim or was it Mass Effect? I think Skyrim was uh, afterwards, if I remember correctly. And if if you want to see side quests, <laughs> and only see side quests, uh, Skyrim is one of those that you can um, that you can kind of check out, or you know, it's 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 definitely a game that just has side quests upon side quests upon side quests, you know. You want to go into another cave? Got plenty of them out there. So, um, you know, I kept on trying to, you know, when I when I played Skyrim, I was I was always kind of trying to find some like better armor, or better weapons, or something like that because I s still felt like I was getting my ass handed to me. <laughs> Um, you know, when I was fighting against some of the more stronger enemies, I'm like, uh, I don't really like that kind of feeling. Um, you know, I, 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 I want a, I, you know, I want a, uh, an even battle. <laughs> Or at the very least, you know, if they're going to be tougher, that's fine. But just a little bit tougher. <laughs> Don't make it extremely, like, one shot and you're dead kind of tougher. <laughs> you know. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I really don't like bullet hell uh, games. I hate those kind of games. Especially if it's, if it's like, you know, one shot and you're dead. Um, so, uh, let's see, uh, Mass Effect release. Okay, when was Mass Effect released? Uh, okay, that's interesting what's going on there if 
phone just suddenly had an issue there. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so Mass Effect was on 2007. The Skyrim... Uh, Skyrim was after. Okay. Yeah, then, then I can't really blame them too much on it. You know, the... Um, Skyrim's an easy game for you to kind of get lost in in the secondary missions. So, um, so they were probably thinking along the lines of let's let's go ahead and you know do all the mission quests and we'll do the um, the individual quests individually kind of thing. They, they kind of isolated the blocks um, so that they could just kind of test those particular blocks and not really test the full scope of it all um, which is understandable in terms of a um, you know game company and all that you know you want to try to um, you want to make sure that the um, you, you want to make sure that you try to account for all uh, possibilities, but at the same time, you know the fact that I was able to get you know Rex's uh, family armor before he even says you know anything about his family. It's like Mm. That's kind of unfortunate. Um, but, oh well. Um, well, before I get into the gameplay, though, I want to let everybody know about the uh, Twitch team. Or not the Twitch team, the stream team. It's not an official Twitch team yet. Um, I have a stream team available for anyone that wants to apply for it. It's for streamers and non-streamers alike. Um, the link is down below on my Twitch bot page. Uh, it takes you to the application page. Um, there's also a link there for the Google document that talks about the stream team. Um, you know, what the stream team is all about what our mission is supposed to be about, you know, our, you know, why I envision the team, you know, what, what I want to see the team grow into. Um, I'd really love to see more people sign up for it. Really would. Um, you know, because I can't be the only person out there that thinks that um, you know we can. You know, I know some people have have you know really kind of pushed for their own content and like and really made it on their own. But sometimes there's those of us that also need a helping hand. You know, we not might not have that breakout hit or whatnot. That we might not have the best equipment out there. We might not have the um, the most entertaining personalities. Um, you know. I'd love to kind of see this grow. You know, see everybody kind of reach out to each other and help each other out. You know, I tried to do it with my last team because that's what 
the team lead initially said that the team was all about. You know, going and supporting other streamers. And I did that. Never got anything in return. Or at least it definitely felt like it. Um, I, I don't want that feeling passed on to anyone else. You know, I don't want people feeling like they are, you know, by themselves. Okay. You know, this, in a sense, I'm, I'm trying to build a community that is willing to help each other out. So hopefully uh, you're, you're watching this and you, know, you see this as an opportunity for you, for you to not only help out others, but for you to grow as well. So uh, check out the Google document. If it's something that you uh, align with, fill out the application, submit it, I'll review it. And if, if you are completely aligned with our mission, then uh, I see no problems with you getting a acceptance letter. You know, I'll, I'll send that email to you saying, welcome to the team. Um, you know, but I need those applications there, folks. So, um, so, uh, that's an interesting graph. Never mind. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for that. Um, let's go ahead and get centered on the game, shall we? So, I get this plane. Set everything else up. Let's get started. Um, I remember, um, uh, you know, when I was I worked for a game company for a short period of time. Um, high impact games. And um, still appreciated the president for willing to give me a chance. I, I really did appreciate that. You know, um, I hope that he continues to do so. I hope that he continues to give, you know, new programmers out there a chance um, so um, I remember working with him because he he wanted to get a, a pathing system for the game that they were building um, you know a, a means of showing the player where the next quest was going to be um, because as, as you do certain quest lines, certain areas of the map become unlocked, you know, you can, you can explore more areas of the map when, when you complete certain quests. Um, but because you're opening up certain sections, if you start exploring other areas, you might not know where the next... Uh, portion of the you know where the next quest was going to be so uh, he got my help for that um, he did he did the majority of the programming uh, to be honest I don't really remember uh, doing much doing much programming myself for that particular um, for that particular portion of the project um, but he had me work on uh, building the path via Maya. Um,
and like any good programmer you want to test out what you have um, you know you, you want to test out what you have so um, so as I was kind of making paths you know once I was done with it you know I, I started like moving around you know and I observed the fact that when I went from one particular section of the map to another I observed his you know indicator saying hey you need to go this way it was going off like into space or you know down into the ground because they had had the map in certain sections kind of thing kind of like floating in air so I mean if you had a chance of panning the camera you know you could kind of see the the other portion of the map you know uh, like above you or below you or something like that um, so the uh, the path would go up in the air go down so I mentioned that to him and you know he you know he made corrections to his code to um, to show uh, like little waypoints kind of thing like hey um, you know you just came through this doorway well if you want to get back to the quest you have to actually go back to that one doorway to to you know head back to the uh, you know previous area where the, the quest line will go to the you know next NPC so uh, well we're gonna be exploring the galaxy causing chaos as we go uh, let's see Didn't think that I was down in the uh, engineering section. Oh, okay. It it just gave me the confusing picture. Okay. Uh, let's see. Two points. Okay. Let's bump up our electronics there. Um. Pretty much done so let's move on to our next um, next planet to go to next planet to explore I think what I'm probably gonna want to do is hold off on uh, let's let's tackle the side quests more because um, if I if I go um, you know random you know if I go one by one through all the planets I can land on then um, I have the potential of skipping particular dialogues and um, you know like what happened with Rex and I don't necessarily want that to happen or at least I don't necessarily want that to happen again. So, um, so let's go and take care of this one here. So, um, Voyage Cluster, Amazon System. Okay, so Voyager Cluster there it is. Amazon. Commander, 
urgent message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. We've got a situation here, and you're the only one that can handle it. How come every time there's a problem, you end up running to me? We respect us, Shepard. And this isn't some run-of-the-mill mission. There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics and drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. Synthetic intelligence is a dangerous technology, Admiral. VI support is critical to our military success. They process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. But as advanced as this thing is, that military strategy is still just a VI. It's not self-aware, and it's completely disengaged from any networks. That's where you come in. We need you to fight your way through the training round of the VI Corps and manually disable it. <laughs> Can't you disable it remotely? Our fail-safes aren't responding. The VI operates on a closed network. It can't affect any external systems, but we don't have any direct access to its processes. We could bomb it from orbit, but the damage to the facility would be catastrophic. We prefer to have someone shut down the core. Someone like you. I know Spectre's answered the Council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military, and right now we need you. The VI controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. Interesting that he's the only one that can pull it off, even though he really doesn't have a, a strong team. It's like, you have, you should have a military that's in the millions. You know, so you're saying that out of, you know, millions of soldiers, only one person can do it? Okay. Okay, so uh, we are at the Voyager system, so H. Binium is the planet that we're going down to. So. Okay, so we did Ashley and Kaiden last time around. So let's do Rex and Karis. Alright. So first off Take care of this. There we go. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and bump up your turn agent there. Let's see. Mm. Let's see. Let's go ahead and bump up your assault rifles. There we go. Shepard is still still the same. There's no other weapons or anything along those lines, so okay. um Lance homing beacon, debris, anomaly. Hmm. We'll we'll take it right to left here. So Ooh, it's dead. Oh 
That didn't work out as well as I wanted it to. Hello. We have something else over here. It's okay. Not a, uh, not a mineral, but. Fat. Oh boy. Ah, damn it. Oh, damn it. No, can't. Ah, oh, really? Okay. I can still collect up on it. It didn't really say, hey, you know, you need to spend, uh, spend your points on collecting this. Okay, uh, Bree now, just straight ahead for the most part. That's where we're gonna wind up being or at the moment <laughs> or you know wind up at so okay salvage radio bypass Dad, dad. There we go. Ammo and armor upgrades. Okay. Okay, so now that that's taken care of, now we can go to the Alliance homing beacon. Which is inside a base facility. And we're basically going to get to a point where, um, um, where we're going to like go through the mountain and come right out on that one encampment. So I just remember it from last time. So we done. Thud. <laughs> okay. A lot of crates. My 
mine shaft. That's the source of the signal. This smells. I agree. Your probe didn't crash. It was moved here. The grasp of the obvious is inspiring. There's still a nuke down here. Check your corners and watch your back. Right. <laughs> on in save it let's go Yeah, at some point in time, they're basically gonna spring a trap on me, cutting me off, and, and the like, so. Alright, exploring a little bit, seeing if there's any uh, crates anywhere. Doesn't look like it, so we're just gonna continue moving in. Yep. Okay, so you know that door that door is locked. That's that's where we're gonna be going. So say real quick. Yes, this is where the trap will spring. That was a detonator. Someone just screwed us. <laughs> Shepard, at last. Have we met? My name is Milano Scalia. I doubt you know me. Who do you think runs the Terminus clan, Shepard, huh? Thousands of pirates, slavers, criminals of every stripe? You assume I give a damn. That's cute. The strongest wins. The one who kills the most men, seizes the most ships, pillages the most colonies. Three years ago, I was the strongest. I used my influence to assemble a fleet. We would drive your kind out of the verge. You organized the attack in Elysium. Too bad we kicked your ass back into Terminus, huh? I was the motivator. The instigator. The one who promised glory and riches for sacking the largest human colony in the cluster. The one blamed when it failed. Failed! I was ruined when your kind held against the Blitz. What better way to recover my reputation than by eliminating the first human specter? You'll see me again, Halia. Count on it. <laughs> I rather doubt that. Goodbye, Shepard. Order, Commander. We find a way out. Someone up there needs my boot up his ass. <coughs> see if there's anything in here we can use. Come on. There we go. There. Passage and passage is blocked. So my way out is this way. that okay 
Okay. Let's go ahead and save it real quick. Because we're going to be stepping right out in the middle of a combat zone. Yes, there we are. But thankfully, the Mako also came, came with, so... There's everybody there. Hi guys. And oh, there's a there's a Krogan down there. Hi. I think last time around I actually made a run for the uh, um, yeah I, I made a run for the uh, made a run for the Mako Yeah, you know what? I don't mind dying on this one. Yep. Bring it on. Last time around, I went, uh, I ran to the Mako and got into it, so. So that's what I'm going to do this time around. That's it. Bag him intact. something that can actually do quite a bit of damage so oh come on There we go. Perimeter clear. Yeah. See, that's a lot easier to deal with these guys. And then just kind of randomly shooting them, especially when you have no cover to speak of. So... Okay, now that we've cleared the area, now it's time to go and uh, see if we can find those resources. We'll see if we can find three resources that are out there and uh, hopefully we can uh, get the heck out of here. So. Wish these thrusters were a little bit more 
directional. Ah, oh, come on. You know, instead of like, you know, straight up and down, now it's close. There you go. Nope. All right. Let's see. Survey. Did you? There we go. One mineral found. Time to go off to the next. See if we can maybe try to find some more stable ground somewhere. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Okay. Well, can't go that way apparently. Oh, damn it. Oh, God. Oh. So frustrating. Alright. I, I apparently incurred some damage on my vehicle because of that last maneuver there. Okay, well, we'll go outside of the mission area if we absolutely have to. You need to turn back, Commander. You're going beyond the range of the operational area. Give me some decent terrain and I'll do so. <sighs> okay. Finally outside of that area. Yeesh. Okay, there's another one. Second. Oh boy. There we go. Still haven't reached the edge of the map yet, so. Continue following the edge of this can't you know well, valley for the most part. Okay. Go back towards the edge of the map there. Make sure that we're not like missing anything important. Is yes, those resources can be on the edge. Not even at. <laughs> uh, 
That's irritating. All right. I'm not even at the edge of the operational area, and, and he's already saying, hey, you, you gotta turn back. It's like, I'm not even in the red zone right at the moment. Oh, 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 come on. Wait, how are my wheel, how are my other front wheels damaged? What the hell? When did that happen? Okay, there's the third one. There it is. Ah. I'm on my way. There we go. Okay. So now we found three deposits. Um, I think I've, in, in, you know, the first playthrough, typically we only found three, so, so I kind of doubt that I would find anything else out there. But, I mean, at the same time, we might find something that is, uh, um, You know, might not be necessarily, you know, resource deposits. It might be like a, like a sub-quest or something like that. Ooh. Or maybe a Thresher Mall or something. Who knows? Nothing there. Actually, hold on. Uh, I doubt that I'm going to be finding anything, you know, going straight north. So I think I'm going to go along the edge of these uh, valleys. And, you know, stay on stable ground for the most part. Let's see if we run into... run into anything. Kind of doubtful, but you never know. That's it. Okay. That's about as much as I want to do. So, return to Normandy. We are done with that particular quest. So, okay. Um, okay, so we now have a new sector opened up for us. Okay, so I've explored this planet here. Uh, and we found three mineral sources, so 
I'm making little notes here so I don't have to uh, so I don't have to worry about going back to that planet if I ever have to. So Okay, so uh, local cluster there's no other systems in our local cluster, so Okay. Make a note of it local cluster. So it's unexplored right now, but I mean I'm about ready to go into it and to be honest there's really nothing there other than uh than that mission on the moon which i mean makes sense i mean if you have a lot of mining companies that are out there the majority of everything would have been kind of picked clean for the most part so you know What's unfortunate is the fact that you, you can't go down on Earth to, you know, uh, visit markets there. It's like, you know, why can't you visit Earth? You know, give give Earth a market that you can go to. I don't know why they didn't do that. Oh well. Okay. Um, Luna's our target, so time to go. Okay, so we're gonna take our ladies here. Tali and Liara. And going in. It already saved the content, so. Um, if I remember correctly, there wasn't really anything here for me to get other than, you know, this, the debris and the Alliance training ground, so. And I think I mentioned it last time, but I've never known the moon to be this rocky. So the only thing that I can think of is maybe it got shelled or mined or something like that, you know, during, during its years. So... Oh boy. Here we go. Save that real quick. Ah. Hello, planet Earth. So close and yet so far away.
Got hit. Oh, God damn it. Why is my gun missing? Two more points. Bump up decryption. Nine points for you. We've already got electronics pretty much established, so I don't necessarily need to worry about you too much. Um, let's go ahead and bump up your barrier, though. Make it a little bit more... Um, tough for them to kill you. And let's see. Yeah, we already have your electronics and that and decryption up. Um, let's give you a shield boost. And then we'll bump up your pistols to To kind of do some more damage that way. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and save it real quick so all of my point saves are are held. Okay. There's decryption. Oh boy. And that's not great. I wasn't going to do that. That was irritating. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Another average decryption. Okay. There we go. Better. Okay. So now, we're going to go ahead and save it real quick. Because... Here we go. Thought they actively moved on you. Need my shields to restore here. There we go, and
Hmm. Nope. Now they're moving. Get back, get back, get back. Get back here, damn it. Okay, where are they? So, shells are restored, and then, let's see. Do that, do that, and then... Actually, uh... Let's do that. Still doing okay. We're doing it slow and steady right at the moment. Which is fine. Okay. Okay, so far. There we go. Think we're good, Commander. I think so too. Power junctions have to take a lot of shots. Uh, I'm not going to waste my time shooting them, though. I mean, there's, there's no other enemies nearby anyway, so... I don't see any loot boxes anywhere around here, so... Moving on. Save it. Thankfully, 
Not everybody's getting uh, affected by the toxic gas. So. Next. Okay, last one. There we go. Okay, we're all done there. Now, as we go from uh, area to area, the uh, difficulty kind of ramps up a bit. You know, they start kind of hunting us down, um, you know, putting up barriers, so things are going to get a little more interesting as we proceed. So that one's done. Go to this one next. Moving out. Okay. I'll have down. Let's see. Mm. Loot boxes. Ah, there they are. Average decryption, average decryption. Oof. Okay, save that. Oh boy. There we go. Nice. Take all that. And do a quick save. Another manual override. There we go. Cipher tool, medium armor, shotgun. And you know what? Let's let's go ahead and oh, and we have a lot of recovered items. Okay, take all that then. Okay, Lancer four does nothing. Firestorm four is a good shotgun. Let's see, edge five, eh, not that great, but we have the stinger four, so, sniper rifle, it's about, the, about equivalent for the most part. I think I'll switch over to incendiary explosive. Let's see, cipher tool. I think I like that one overall. Let's see, medium armor, light armor, light armor. No. Not, not great. Alright, um. Let's see, any weapon mods? Probably, but let's see, first aid interface. 
think we have a medical interface, that's so gotta be better. Alright, let's see, heat sink two. Hmm. There we go. Rail extension. Hammer head rounds. Do synthetic damage there. On that sensor two, we'll switch out with the four. Anti-personal rounds. Go with the cry rounds on that one. On that sensor two. Hmm. Don't necessarily need weapon stability for the uh, handgun, so uh, physic rounds will go with scenery rounds on that one. Let's see, we're coil dampener, that's pretty decent. Alright, this one is slightly better. Not by much, but slightly. <laughs> Chemical rounds. Um, let's switch over to that one. Okay. Let's see, combat sensor, we're okay with that. Radioactive, we're okay with that. And we want the Lancer 4. Let's see. Let's go ahead and put the Firestorm on. Yeah, there we go. Let's see. Um, we'll put the heatsink on you. Let's see. H5. I mean, that, that is pretty much better than the Kessler 3, so go ahead and do that. Do the recoil dampener in that one. Um, okay, only less, uh, only four damage less, but I mean, we have a higher accuracy rating, so that's going to be better overall. Combat sensor, and Cry rounds. A blue wire tool now. Okay, so we lose 10 points in the power bonus, but we get 20 and 20 there, so that's a good one to have. Um, light armor. And yeah. Both of those are pretty bad in comparison, so. Shield modulator is fine too. No armors that we can throw on her. No other weapon mods that we can use. Okay, Hurricane Force good. Let's see. Are all of our bullet mods good? Let's find out real quick. Um, I'm bad equivalent damage, I would imagine. Hmm. Let's see. Let's do chemical rounds on that one. Same weapon, so do anti-personal rounds there. Same tool, no armor. So, yep, yeah, okay. That's about as much as we can do. Let's go ahead and save it, and let's proceed. Come on.
that's a that's a rocket one. I gotta be careful with that. That hurt. Let's wait a little bit while uh, our health recovers. Don't like those rocket ones because they, you know, uh, I mean, they were one shot. Were, they were one shotting me last time, and it's like, ah, oh, they were so annoying. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Run. Wait. Why are you not hidden? There we go. That was weird. Maybe I was hitting, it just wasn't registering the hits. Yep. Wait until my shields come back. There we go. Your shields are out of commission right at the moment, so that's not great, but I'm not being beset by the other drones, so here we go. Missed. Come on, damn it. Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah. Let's get to a better vantage point on this guy. power junctions that really don't help you all that much. So. Okay. Save it real quick. Kinetic barrier fields powering up throughout the bunker complex. Yep.
Ja. There we go. Okay. Critics. There we go. Go. A little too close to these uh, conduits, so. Oh, come on. Thank you. Get rid of the barrier at least. Pour some bullets into that and. There we go. Alright. Let's go ahead and heal later up there. I mean, we're probably going to get another med, med gel anyway. So. Space. Okay, last one. Description. Error description. All right. Let's see. Um, how are we doing on levels? Let's see, we are really close to getting to the next level there. It's around 300 points. Well, slightly less than 300 points. 285. So, wait, how did you get poisoned again? Whatever. Okay, uh, quick save failed. Okay, that's odd. Oh, damn it. There we go. Oof, that was a little close. Close, close for comfort there. Can I... No, I'm still failing on the... On saving, huh? Okay. Oh, damn it. Uh, oof. That was, that was real close. Ah. Why... Why are we failing so much on our quick saves? Negative contacts, Commander. Yeah, I know. There we go. We're not even in a combat.
Oh, here they come. Back up, back up, back up. That was Tully. Okay. Those rocket uh rocket drones are so freaking annoying. That powers up. Ah. There's a ready up, and then oh, everybody tally. Come on, this way. Thank you. I didn't want you to be in the range of that grenade that I accidentally threw. Okay. Uh, what are we doing? Is there any additional drones out there? Seem like it. What is going on with you guys? Yeah, companions are being uh, being real buggy right at the moment. that <laughs> okay, yep Next. And you are in my way. Hey, yeah. Okay, that's great. Oh my. <sighs> C4 
see what I mean. Those rockets are overpowered. Or at least my compatriots don't really uh, do much in terms of... Uh, Dodging them right at the moment, so. Alright. Here we go. And there's that one. you maybe step aside you keep on doing this oh didn't expect that negative contact shepherd there you go Let's see. Let's see, we have commando and we have operative. So, um, reduces recharge time on all tech attacks, improves overload, improves sabotage. Um, and then there's uh, commando. Increases damage with all weapons, improves immunity ability, improves marks. And ability improves assassination ability. Um, personally, I prefer this one <laughs> uh, because you know if if what they say is true about the you know uh, his sniper abilities being like one one shot kills, I'm gonna want that. So all right, heal everybody up. Now, I thought before it used to be that it would spring a bunch of drones back up here to try to fight you as you were trying to leave, but I guess not. Maybe that was a different location. I think it was maybe Geth. Alright. Now, if I remember correctly, there's nothing else here. So, uh, there's really no point in me kind of staying here. So, we're just going to re return to Normandy and be done with it. So... Uh, go ahead and mark soul as explored. There we go. And we move on. All right. All right. Um, I want to see what the next uh, next assignment it was going to be. Yeah, let's let's go with this one here. The uh, down med ship located in the hydro system in the Argos Row cluster. So. So, let's see 
where was that again? Harvest Row, there we are. And it was Hydra. I think it was Hydra. ship that was supposed to be here. Let's see. Um, it goes. Okay. That's apparently where we kind of need to go. Okay, so we just did our lay squad here, so let's keep on rotating. Let's go back to our original OG squad. Okay. Transponder signal. Let's go to the anomaly first. Let's see. Let's see it real quick. Easy, 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 easy. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Cover artifact. Here we go. No vlog. Nice. Alright. So. Uh, commando. Okay, let's go ahead and finish off our decryption electronics and then uh, I want to start bumping up sniper rifles so that I can start doing some major damage on that one. So, I get a point in charm. I didn't want a point in charm. Why did it put a point in charm? Hmm, I don't know. Oh well. Okay, so, let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and continue bumping up your lift because that's a nice ability. I enjoy that ability. And then for you, uh, we need some damage. So let's go ahead and bump up your assault rifles. So. Okay, now we go to debris. Save it real quick. Okay. Once again, wheel damage. What the? Uh. You're kidding. Feels like, um, you have a, a greater chance of damaging your vehicle in, in this particular um, 
um, in this particular difficulty and that sucks because you know the Mako doesn't really perform very well so So the fact that it's a little bit easier to damage is makes this, you know, irritation just that much more. All right. Savage bypass. Oh boy. Nope. Damn it. There we go. It's a little. That was. There wasn't any targets to begin with. There, uh, Kaiden. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. uh, so now we have our transponder signal. And I believe this is a gas attack, uh, gas trap, if I remember correctly. So, which is kind of irritating, seeing that you know I already have some damage on my vehicle. So, do a quick save again. But thankfully, they're, they they have to kind of get through the shields first before they start damaging my vehicle. So I just have to make sure that I'm very careful on um, I'm getting hit. So. All right, let's go collect the mineral first. Let's not spring the trap just yet. Okay. There we go. And now, quick save. And now we go and spin the trap. There's the down ship. This must be the place. Careful, Commander. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yes. It's a trap. to kind of get away from the, uh, oh, oh, damn it. Get rid of those guys. Come on. <sighs> really? Thank you.
apparently I can't destroy the anti-vehicle mine either. <laughs> okay. Well, we have one deposit already taken care of. Let's go and uh, came out of that pretty uh, pretty well unscathed, but yeah, let's go and uh, see about trying to find some more deposits out there. Should be about two more for the most part. Hopefully I won't ruin the Mako while doing it, while trying to look around. I mean, we already have the right wheel not feeling that great, so... Okay, not much else there. Let's turn around and head back this way. I wonder if they did anything to like maybe improve on the Mako in the Legendary Edition. I wonder how, uh, you know, it, was it just a graphical update or did they actually, you know, you know, smooth out this land a little bit, you know, make it a little bit easier for the Mako to climb or you know, completely give us a totally different vehicle altogether to try to traverse this ground because, oh my god. <laughs> you know, I don't be honest, I don't really mind the Mako too much. Okay. You know, yeah, the controls can be a little wonky at times, but um, but at the same time, I'm I'm okay with trying to drive it. Now, um, it's just my my thought lines on this is the fact that there should there should have been like an easier uh, vehicle to use the fact that you still have like you know wheels on this vehicles odd I mean we're not dealing with any kind of fuel or anything like that or they would indicate fuel so, um, and 
thankfully they didn't. Um, so it's just, just kind of, just kind of weird that, you know, at, you know, at this particular stage and sci-fi that we're still using ground vehicles like that. So. You know, if you want to be sci-fi, be a little bit more sci-fi. <laughs> Found nothing up there. So time to go to the other side of the map. Oh boy. Come on. Yes, yes, I know, Joker. You need to turn back, Commander. You're going beyond the range of the operational area. You need to turn back, Commander. You're going beyond the range of the operational area. Trying to stay on... I'm trying to stay on level ground here, Joker. Stop... Stop causing me problems by giving me this. Giving me that. Okay. Uh, oh, well, oh, both of my wheels are damaged now. Yay. Interesting. Come on. Get out of there. To, if if I was to use the rockets like right now, the makeup would be basically flying into the screen, and that's that's what that's kind of unfortunate for for this because you know I would really love to have the rockets being able to kind of punch me up over this hill, but nope, that's not what they're intending for apparently. Let me go this way a little bit and I have a little bit, I see a little bit of smoother travel this way. Okay. Nothing over here, huh? Okay, well, let's... Go down south. You know, 
probably wouldn't complain so much about the Mako if it wasn't for the fact that, you know, it feels like every single one of these planets is, is based off of the fact that, you know, uh, their entire countryside is is based around the um, Himalayas. <laughs> well, not nearly as bad. I mean, those, these mountains aren't as tall, but still. The fact that you have, like, sheer cliff faces and, like, and very little, to tr you know, um, traveling terrain for the most part. And there's one more deposit, so that's good. I'm going to grab that real quick. Oh, it's right down there. All right. And survey. Oh. There we go. All right, one more left. Or at least, maybe one more left. Just in case, I'm going to say real quick. I mean, I I understand that, you know, hey, we're, we're putting some damage on the front wheels and stuff like that, but, you know, I'll, you know, I don't know what will happen if it starts. Not even near that. Uh, whatever. Um, w one of my concerns right at the moment is the fact that, you know, if if one of these tires pops, for example, um, you know, would that basically absolutely destroy the the vehicle in question? You know. I don't necessarily want to uh, you know I don't I, I don't want that to happen so that's the reason why I'm saving it is that's a that's kind of a concern of mine right at the moment I mean, so far it's just looking like, you know, hey, we're, we're just doing some over outright damage on there and, and, and that's it, you know, uh, not much else can really be done. Um, and it won't necessarily lead to the entire transport, you know, breaking up into tiny little pieces or something like that. Um, but you never know. You know, I don't know what they're, what they kind of wanted to do on that, so. So I've already kind of been this way before. Where? Where's the third mineral?
Oh, there's an and there's another wheel damaged. It's not right, right over the uh, anti-vehicle mine there. Do that to me. Alright. Any... Any rock formation anywhere. Anything. At all. Come on. I want to see. Um, let's see, Misfit One. Make goes. Okay, so there's only two there's only two minerals here. Okay. I was wondering about that. I'm like going why why am I not seeing more minerals? Well, that's because there's only two of them here. Okay, yep. Yeah. yeah, apparently that one and that one are the only ones available there, so. Alright, well, if that's the case, then we've, we've explored everything there, and... Um, two minerals X. Here we go. Um, what about uh, Tun Tao there? Because I only found two minerals on that planet as well when I initially looked. Okay. 
phone. Are you going to respond to me here? Guess not. We'll try again. Okay. Mass Effect 1, um, and Tau. Okay. Yeah, there's only two, two medals on that one, too. Okay. Okay. So you know, let's see that I found both of them. We don't need to worry about that. Okay. Let's move on then. Next on the list is Major Kyle. So, hacking at the cluster. Century system, okay. Now, this one's probably going to be like an all out firefight. Um, because I have a funny feeling that I'm probably going to. Um, you know, cause some kind of um, fight with his followers and um, probably gonna start killing everybody in there, so at least possibly, not sure. Um, see yeah press up okay so we took these two down that time around uh, or last time let's go ahead and grab these two Keep it keep it rotating so that will uh, always keep them uh, you know, keep the levels balanced for everybody. So um, okay, let's go ahead and get some weapon damage going here. What's that? Um, okay, we'll boost up your damage there and start boosting up your shotguns. And we're good there. Okay. Okay, so anomaly, debris, and then the biotic compound. So, first off, the anomaly. Hello, we got something over here. Let's go see what's over here.
that. Okay. Um, there it is. Let's see. There we go. Take all that. There's anything else in there, so. Senior explosive, okay. Technician kit. That's it, huh? Okay. All right. Um, let's go this way a little bit so that we can try to climb this mountain a little bit easier. get to our destination. Okay. Just trying to work the way down the mountain here without Trying to damage the Mako any further, or you know, trying to keep the Mako relatively intact, at least for the most part. Right. Let's see, ancient debris recover. There you go. And then right the mining vehicle. Okay. That's taken care of. And we have the debris over there. Bypass, oh boy. Um, yeah, there we go. That inner was kind of blocking my path there, so I was like, oh, no, I gotta wait for for that to clear first before we go, we go further in, so. Right. Now we're off to the compound. Where, like I said before, probably going to be, like, killing a lot of biotics in this one. Probably. We'll see. You know, maybe my intimidate will be a factor in it. Maybe I can basically scare everybody to submit, but mm, that might not always work out so okay got a resource over here that we can collect Let's go ahead and take care of that real quick. Hello, gold. Right. Here we go. Alright, now... There's 
this spot here, which is blocked off. And then we have this building over on this side over here. I would imagine that both are, uh, you know, both should be. This is a private sanctuary. Outsiders are not welcome here. One way or another, I'll find a way in. Father Kyle told us that the Alliance would let us live in peace. This is your last warning. Go away or we will defend ourselves. Father Kyle told us that the Alliance would let us live in peace. This is your last warning. Go away or we will defend ourselves. Tonight, the door opens. They won't stand a chance against us. Here we go. Okay. Rex, you're in the way. Oh, what the... Okay. Oh. Well, Garrus, you better bump up your shield there, man. Not exactly the the best location for uh, for this. You know what? Let's just revive Karis and heal him up. Oh, 
God damn it, kid. That Arcade entrance unlocked. Take all of that. Let's see anything else? No, nope. okay. Nope. Ah, I see you. Come here. Yeah. There we go. Two five sniper rifle. Okay. Let's see. Let's see anything else on that level. Let's see if we have we have that room there. Oops. And blow that up. There we go. Normally, that's normally that's an open crate, but apparently not this time around. We have a medical kit here, so wait. No no metagels in that? What? Okay. Okay, there we go. It's like what the Ugh, whatever. Okay, so not not much in terms of overall uh, equipment up here. That's unfortunate, but uh, I think we're done there. we go into the bunker. There we go. Right, we have one person already kind of here for the most part. Okay, nothing in this room. Moving on. Oh. Oh, come on, get. Here we go. more people in here. I will destroy you. I will destroy you. Okay. He's gone. Any loot in here that I can take? On a power junctions. Uh, med kit, don't. Well, 
I'll go ahead and heal up there. And wait. It said med kit zero, but I got one back. So I whatever, okay. And storage locker, easy decryption, okay. Get over there so we can unlock this. There we go. Let's see anything else around here that I can loot? I mean, he's calling us, so I'm gonna need it afterwards. Wait a minute. Alright. Evil Jim is evil. Okay. Uh, All right, let's see, doors closed, doors closed. Let's go this way first. There we go. Take that. And I'm probably going to have a little bit of difficulty with the major, but we'll see what happens. Alright, let's go ahead and save it real quick. Okay, let me go with a sniper rifle this time around. Oh. Stop! Let no more of my children die. There has been enough killing. I know you, the butcher of Torfan. Why have you come here, Shepard? Why can't you leave us alone? Somebody has to pay for killing those Alliance officers, Major. They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place, turn my back on my family. They spoke blasphemy. <laughs> I did what I could to make their end quick and painless. I had no other choice. It was necessary to protect my children. Only I can keep them safe. I didn't come here to listen to a madman's preaching. I speak, but you do not hear. You are like the other. A blasphemer. Who must die? Oh, okay. You must I will destroy die. you. What the? Oh. Okay. And why did I only get? Why did I only get two renegade out of that? I got two renegade out of all that. Seriously? Two? What was it? I I got like nine out of that one you know, uh I think uh walking up to that one chick in the dock. This should have been nine easy. Because I was killing off a whole lot of people, including the Major. But I only got two? See what I mean? It's like, uh, you know, there's there's no consistency on these uh, on on the evil portion of the game. It's like, eh, we 
we'll give nine here, but we'll give two here. It's like, what? What? Oh, you're, you're saying stuff against the commanding officer, or you're back-talking the commanding officer? Well, you're not going to get any Renegade points. Like, like, uh, I don't know. Okay, so we got one uh, resource found. Let's see about trying to find any additional ones, see if we can find like two more. I was expecting a lot more Renegade points that for that. For slaughtering for slaughtering all those people. Okay, well Climbing up that mountain isn't gonna work, so and we've already kind of There we go. Okay, so now we're going to be going over here. Thankfully, we have ourselves a little bit of a valley that we can actually travel down and not have too much issues. I gotta hide, hide the mountain though because I might go beyond the boundary. Looks like I'm going to have to travel over the mountains this time around. The boosters on the Mako are just pretty much pointless, so I'm, I'm not even bothering using them all that much. They're, they're pretty much pointless. Surprised that didn't do any damage. Okay. Oh. Woohoo! That did some damage. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, we're going this way now. You need to turn yeah. back not gonna let me go that way, huh? Okay, we'll, we'll go this way. Try to climb to the top of the mountain, go along the mountaintop if we can. Come on. There we go. Nope, not, oh, jeez. Okay. <sighs> Rocky Mountains. Oh, come on. Work with me here. I'm trying to get to the top of these mountains so that I can kind of go along the top of them so I don't have to kind of waste time trying to climb. Uh -oh. I see some enemies. Let's see. 
Hello. Oh, come on. I was angled. Perfectly fine. Boy, that container's strong. Okay. Doesn't look like anything else is here. Take all this equipment. Okay, let's see. It's been a while since I checked out my weapons and see if there's anything better. There's anything else right at the moment. Okay, that is definitely an improvement. So we'll go ahead and put you in on. There we go. Let's see. Cinder explosive. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and keep that for now. Um, nothing really there. Right armor. Okay. Scorpion four mantis for are the exact same thing. <laughs> okay. No, no. No and no. Okay. Garrus. What about you? What have we got for you? We got some light armor. And not that great. Let's see, what about medium armor? Oh, we got some medium armor there. Let's, let's go with that. There we go. Uh, no. And no. Okay. Let's see. Um, accuracy bonus is good, so let's go ahead and equip you with that. There we go. Uh, tch -tch -tch. Oh, yeah, Katana 4. Definitely. Let's see. Um, a little bit more damage overall, but... Lower accuracy rating and not as many shots, so. Yeah, I think that's about as good as we're gonna get. Okay, we got edge four. Better than edge three, so. Oh, stinger four is better, okay. Put that on. Okay, looks like we're all done on the handguns there. Let's see, hammer four, sure thing. Let's see, what about the Avenger four? Mm, not that much. Not that much. Okay. We'll leave that one alone. Okay, we got a little bit more. I mean, we got, you know, 10 more in shield bonus. You know, removes the med recharge, but that's okay. 
And there's that. Okay, what about Rex? How are we doing on Rex? Any armors for Rex? No armors for Rex. Okay. Uh, Lancer 4, sure thing. Uh, I got no other good weapons there. Stone 4. Tornado 4. Swap that out. Mm. Mm. Katana 4 versus Tornado 4. Higher accuracy rating and a little bit more shots fired. I think this one is better overall, not by much, but still a little bit better. Okay. Stinger 4. There we go. Avenger 4. Hmm. That accuracy rating doesn't really help out the damage there, so I'll leave that one alone. Um, slightly better overall, you know, plus five on the power bonus, plus eight on the cooldown bonus, but obviously, you know, uh, you know, minus ten on the duration, so. So there's a slight boost there, but not by much. So okay, still going towards our destination here. Let's see, uh, we still haven't found. We only found one minerals so far so in this general direction here because I want to keep oh hi there Oh, what the? You were nowhere near me! What the fuck? <sighs> that was some bullshit right there. Okay. Are we all done here? That was some bullshit right there. That's going to make my uh, travels a little bit harder. Yeah, well, we'll save it, so... If I do... Uh, if the Mako does get destroyed somehow, then... Oh, 
oh, oh, oh, oh, easy, easy, easy. Nothing over here. So go in this general direction and see see what we can find. Let's get away from the edge here a little bit so that we can kind of still see what's out there on the Area, but we're gonna have a interesting climb here. Uh, oh, come on now. Yeah, this was our initial finding of their encampment. That's, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised I don't get super damaged on those large falls. It's like... Okay. Nothing there. Hmm. Pretty much been on this side altogether, so um so the only thing that I can think of is like maybe there's something over here that somehow I missed. I missed something altogether over there. Not sure. Yeah. Only one way to find out. Come on. Let's see. Oh, no. Come on. Climb, damn it. Can't climb. Oh, damn. Oh my god, come on! Oh, what the... <laughs> uh, Mego, you're pissing me off on the fears. Right. Oh, there's the... There's that one, like, you know, digging site where they were kind of doing things illegally. Why can't I climb that? It's not that steep. Oh my gosh. No, no, you're going the wrong way, damn it. Uh, my gosh. I don't want to go towards 
over there. I want to try to go that way. Alright, well. You're not making this easy on me, you know that? Turn to the left, please. Thank you. No, no, I didn't want to turn back that way so much. Oh, fuck. This way. Thank you. No, you turned too much again. Fuck, man. There's one, okay. I thought there might have been something over here. Oh boy. Now, now just trying to get to it. Yes, I want to go this way. To the left. Get at the top, top of this mountain here. Oh, come on, come on. Going a little too much to the left now. There we go. Okay, where is it? There it is, okay. Oh, come on. There you go. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Now. I'm not seeing anything more here, and that's kind of concerning. Normally I would, I would see, normally you would see like three, but. Hmm. Why is my internet on my phone so terrible right at the moment? Okay, mass effect. On and press up, press up. Okay, now let's see. Not only two minerals, apparently. They're indicating... Oh wait, this this was, I believe, the mercenaries. And then we have the um, mall. Let me, let me double check that. Yeah, mercenaries and thresher mold. Okay. 
And I think I've already taken care of the mercenaries over here. So, I think. So. Yeah. I already took care of him, so let's get the heck out of here. Okay. So that one's done. Major Kyle, return to the Normandy, already done. So next one. I uh, just need to return to the Citadel for that one. Missing Marines. So we need to go to the Sparta system in Artemis Tau. So. Message coming in. Patch it through. Admiral Hackett here, Commander. Your helmsman just forwarded your report on Major Kyle. We never like to see civilian casualties, but I think we all knew how this was going to end. You did what you had to do. The newsmans are going to pick up this story for sure, but we'll keep your name out of it, Shepard. Check it out. Why keep my name out of it? If, if I'm going to be, you know, an evil butcher, let, let my name be known. Wahahaha. <laughs> I have not been keeping up with my um, with my notes here right at the moment. Um, let's see, I saw it has been explored, and two minerals have been found there. Let's see. Um, What else? Um, I think that's actually it. I don't remember anything else that I haven't already updated yet, so. So let's see, which one was it? This one. Okay, so. I um, think our next set is Lear and Tully again, so let's go. Well, might as well get the distress signal, which is like right there out of the way. Time to fight a Thresher Mall. Hi there. Oh, why did you miss?
Oh god! What the? What the? What the heck? What the heck? Okay. Thank you. That hurt. That hurt a lot. A lion saw you. Looks like they were lured here by the distress you feel. It appears these men were under the command of Admiral Kohoku. Do you want to know? Okay. <sighs> Can't destroy this distress speaker, so I'm not gonna save it because I have a funny feeling I'm probably gonna have my Mako destroyed at some point in time. Like, one wrong move and, you know, my, uh, my vehicle gets destroyed, so, so I'd rather redo that fight if necessary, I mean, um, you know, I, I, I was able to complete it you know, without the Mako being destroyed, so I mean, it's, I don't necessarily need to redo it if I don't have to, but. Okay, where is it? There it is. Oh, damn it. There we go. Okay. Debris. Okay. Obviously, if I have if I face off against another Thresher Maul, then I'm in trouble. But um, I don't necessarily want to be using my uh, repair on this if I can help it. So. Salvage that. Oh boy. There we go. Take all that. Okay, now. Uh the oh, I see something over there. Time to go collect. So time for me to go and try to find all these, uh, all the minerals that could potentially be here. So I'm looking for three. We'll see if we find any, or you know, we'll see if we find three. There we go. Survey. Oh, oh damn it. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Keep on 
going in this general direction. I'm just waiting for the moment where it's like, you know, I, I make one wrong move or something like that or, you know, comes slamming down hard on the ground and does a little bit of tire damage and suddenly my vehicles, you know, uh, I get the uh, uh, end screen. Just kind of waiting for that right now. All right. So that's done there. Let's move on to the next corner. Let's see if we can find another uh, resource. And I kind of want to keep an eye on the edge here because there have been um, minerals on the edge. So... I mean, that's kind of on the edge, but not fully, but it will do. Here we go. Okay, survey. There hmm. we go. Nice. So far, so good. Two found, and there's plenty of space available for a third one if it's out there, so. So we'll see. Oh, third one. If there's a fourth, that would be kind of interesting, but I kind of doubt it. Like I said, like I mentioned before in other previous playthroughs, um, so far I've only seen an average of three, but. There we go. There we go. So, technically, I could probably look to see if there's something up here. But, I mean, I found three minerals at this point, so... I'm thinking that I'm pretty much done here, but... Um, uh, still kind of curious as to, um, if there is any, will you stop doing that? I'm not wanting to search for that just yet. You're searching a little prematurely there, phone. Stop that. Okay, let's see. Um, metal, light, metal, rare metal. Okay. That's pretty much it. Okay. Okay. We're done here. Journal assignments. Let's see, missing Marines, missing survey team. So, want to travel to the NTA system. Oh, wait. Um, make a note that we've been here.
There we go. Now it's updated. So now we want to go to the heady gamma cluster and taste system. So Hades, Gamma Cluster, there it is. And the uh, Antaeus. Going to Treban. Okay, um, I think I had the ladies last time, so I just don't crew again. Okay, anomaly, research base, anomaly, debris. Okay, I think I'm gonna go clockwise. And we'll start with the debris first. So. Nope, we got some mineral, come here. Go. Oh boy. Ah, damn it. Here we go. Just trying to you know, dodge my way through that, but didn't make it. All right. One mineral deposit found. Potentially two more to go. Oh, we got some company up there. Hi. Crush. Destroy you. <laughs> Perimeter clear. All right. Okay. Oh, wow. That is a lot of what the hell? That was too much. What the fuck? What the heck was that? Okay. I might as well use the uh, Omnigel. Not only was there a ton of blocks that were stationary, but there was a ton of 
moving blocks as well. I mean, I saw no real good out openings there. Every, every, you know, if it wasn't like one layer that was blocked, it was like the next layer that was kind of preventing passage. It's like, ugh, that was that was rough. All right, well, moving on. And what's what's really funny is the fact that my electronics and decryption is maxed out, you know, for both of them. It's like, and I kind of get a better uh, decryption on that. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. We want sniper rifle damage. Okay. Next icon on the map. Let's go. Trying to find some stable ground for the most part here. You would think that, you know, with as many crash probes that there are here, you know, I would be able to kind of find some additional materials. But... Nope. All right. Research base next on the list. Okay, go this way. We can turn to the right a little bit. There we go. Sorry, I thought I might have seen something. You know, I didn't have and didn't have the map edge on the you know, available, so Oh, 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 oh. Easy, 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 easy. Oh, come on now. I 
I remember this one. This is going to be... Irritating, to say the least. Oh, wait. I'm already missing a med kit. So, we'll take that one. <laughs> Okay. According to these data logs, the survey team unearthed some kind of alien technology. Could be answers at the excavation site. Mm-hmm. Oh, yep. Yeah. there so this is where things get interesting because I tried this once before and got absolutely obliterated first time I uh, first time I went here, so how are we going to hold up this time around? Not sure. But some kind of alien technology and it turns them into mindless fanatics whatever they found it's long gone now okay survive that one fairly well Just seeing if I can trigger any more to kind of rush me Explosives around here. Get rid of these guys so I don't have them kind of exploding on top of me. I mean, granted, you know, those would be helpful against the husk, but okay. Great. There we go. Take all that. Grab that. Back to crate. There we go. Let's see what else? Okay. 
For a cybernetic husk, but devices similar to those used by the Gathanine Prime that came to be buried on the frontier world so far from Geth territories of mystery. There we go. Just gotta take it slow sometimes. One little mindset that I like to say ever, uh, ever so often is, you know, slow and steady wins the race, so. Alright. Okay. Looks like we're all done here. Time to get out of here. for your lives flee save yourselves and this looks like a crate that you can open up but last point of interest then we have to see if there's any additional resources on this planet so okay then Sure, Mako, we can go that way. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Easy there. Easy, easy, easy.
Nope. Hi there. Unfortunately, there's no like major hills here that kind of show where it pops out of. So, or at least nothing that kind of stands out. Like, hey, you don't really want to go here. Or, you know. Yeah, okay. Whoa! Ah. Trying to stay far enough away so that it doesn't throw my vehicle up into the air, but... Oh, come on! What the hell? Can you... Can you hit him? Thank you. I love when you kill them initially and then another one pops up in its place. It's like, wait, what? Alright. Recover. Recover artifact. There we go. Okay, now that we've taken care of all that, and we've only found one deposit, we're going to go ahead and uh, explore the rest of the world and see if we can find two more deposits. Thankfully, no damage to the Mako yet. Oh boy. Okay. Looks like there's really not much up here. So, and to go across. And see if we can find anything along these uh, along these lines, along the southern border here. But we're gonna be coming to a close here pretty soon, there, folks. So, got about 10 more minutes left before I have to end the stream. Oh. Okay, that wasn't exactly what I wanted to do, but sure. Doesn't look like there's anything over here that I can collect on. Okay, so we're gonna be heading back up here.
I'm gonna keep the border in in line of sight, you know, just so I can um, if there oh, if there is uh, some artifacts over there, then I can I can definitely try to get it. Uh, once again, we're dealing with a damn 545. Log spike. Sorry about that, folks. Hopefully, you're still watching me. Uh. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh, easy there. Easy, 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 easy. Okay. Okay, well, we've already been pretty much to this particular border. Found anything, though. That's... Hmm... Let me let me go in this general direction and see if I can find anything in, over here. Somewhere in the middle, where I'm, you know, I might not have spotted everything. Uh, it doesn't look like much. Hmm. Is there only one resource here? Hmm. Seems kind of odd. Trevin. Let's see. Okay, so apparently there's two mineral deposits. Unfortunately, the map isn't isn't coming up on the website right at the moment. Here, let, me, let me go back real quick. Okay, so took care of those. Got those. Took care of that. Okay, so there's one over there. And there's something here as well. Hmm. Let's go to this one first. Oh, no. Don't, don't return just yet. Apparently there's some kind of like signal or something like that that you can, that you can receive based off of what I was seeing there. Yeah. 
thinking that it's like right at the very top of this mountain, but might not be there, there. I was I was seeing something about Rachni for this particular spot. That's why I was like, all right, well, not finding it. Maybe maybe it'll appear later on when I actually um, um, deal with the Rachni. You know that particular mission hasn't uh, been resolved yet, so. mineral over here apparently okay there it is done return to normandy all right well that's gonna be it for this one so uh, so let's see um took care of that so So we're going to continue working our way through our assignments here. Um, and then uh, continue updating my notes as to, you know, what, what planets I've been to and, and all that. Obviously, more systems will become available and more needs to be explored. Um, but we'll we'll save those for the next time. So, um, so tomorrow will be my Warframe gameplay. Uh, if you're interested in that, come on by. Um, we'll be continuing working on. Um, I'll I'll see about trying to get more of the Gar Prime relics so that I can try to. Um, game Gar Prime on, on that particular game. Um, and then um, then on Sunday is going to be my coding stream, so feel free to stop on by at that point. Uh, I Now, for anyone that is interested, uh, there is, uh, you know, I, I put together a stream team uh, meant to try to help out everybody that's in in team. So, um, you know, so if if you're if you're wanting some, uh, you know, good kind of community to kind of be of the mindset that everybody should be playing their weight to help everybody else out on on the team okay so uh every you know there should should never be a, a point where anyone feels like they're being neglected or at least hopefully 
um, you know, if, if everything, you know, if, if my foundation is solid enough, then uh, everybody should be able to get some amount of um, assistance with the team. Okay, that's that's the that's the purpose behind it. You know, um, you know, it, it's it's meant to for everybody to kind of have the mentality of pay it forward. You know, everybody helping out each other to to get to you know where they want to be as a streamer. So. Um, you know, you know, I never, uh, you know, so for clarification, I never saw this as, um, a potential job because obviously, you know, I, um, <laughs> uh, it's, it's always been kind of difficult for me to, uh, get and maintain, uh, or, you know, to just have, have eyes on me, I guess you might say. Um, so I knew that, that, you know, as, as an entertainer, probably not going to happen. Um, but that doesn't mean that I can't help out others to, get to that point okay so uh if you're if that's something that you might be interested in you know uh the the team in general, in itself um i have an application link down below uh so uh feel free to check out the application page uh, the application form um uh, there is a Google document that explains the foundations of the team, the mission statement, you know, what I'd like to kind of have, uh, what I'd like to see happen on a team uh, to the point where um, everybody's helping each other out on it. So uh, feel free to check out that Google document for more information on that. I mean, it's it's a it's a lengthy one, but it's it's meant to be that way. It's it's meant to kind of give everybody all the information that they would want, you know, concerning what the team is all about. Um, you know, obviously, if you know the that document can change. Um, it's it's not a it's not something set in concrete, okay? Um, we can still do modifications to it and upgrades to the team to make it better, okay? So, um, so don't think that I'm I'm looking at it and going that's the most perfect thing ever. No, I I know that um, I can I can probably find improvements on the document. Um, or someone might, someone else might find improvements on the document. Okay. Um, either way, um, you know, we want to try to get to a point where we can help everybody else. So, um, so that's available. Um, Google document application link. So fill out the application submit it, I'll review it, or, you know, if we start getting some more people into the team, then someone else may review it. Um, but if if you basically hold to the truths of what the team is all about, if you hold to the ideals of it, then uh, I see no problem with you um, joining the team. So feel free to submit. Um, and hopefully I see you there. Um, you know, I'll send in you an email one way or another about it. So, um, but that's it for the stream team. Um, all these videos, all these streams that I do are eventually uploaded to my YouTube channel. So feel free to check that out if you like. Got a link down below for that. I also have links to my Discord, my Patreon, and my Twitter account. 
down below on my Twitch about page, as well as in the description of my YouTube videos. So feel free to check those out if you're interested. Um, I, have, uh, I have a schedule of everything that I do on this channel down below on my Twitch about page. You know, showing you what games I play, the coding streams that I do, as well as the Finish What I Started series. That's all available on my schedule. Uh, but just know that I do stream daily from 2 to 6 p.m. PST. So stop on by during that that window of time. Say hi in the chat if you want, or don't. It's perfectly fine if you just want to lurk. Uh, but that's where we're going to go ahead and call it for tonight. So uh, for those of you that are um, stopped on by and are lurking, thank you for doing so. I appreciate it. Um, didn't have any commenters today, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, we're just going to continue moving forward. And so that's where we're going to go ahead and end it for tonight. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Hopefully I catch you next time. But until then, take care. Have a good night. Stay healthy. Stay safe. And I'll catch you strangers next time.